Hello everyone. Stream is starting. Hi Ron. Hi Pyro. What? Or switch it least. How is the music for y'all? Can can you hear my voice and the music okay? I like to leave the music at like a chill background volume. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. Okay. I want to make sure it's not too quiet, because I can make it louder for y'all without making it louder for me if needed. Okay, so a little bit has happened since the last stream. This is a new character I have made. Still going to be using the other one, but at the moment, I have made a lo a uh, raider. She's level eighty five now. Been pretty fast leveling her. Her entire purpose is to make heisting faster, because traditionally. Heisting with my main character has been a bit slow. I can't really get as much stuff done as I would like to. But this character is very much geared towards moving quickly. And the uh, the Torn's Reclamation that I got earlier in the league is perfect for this. Really fast moving character that uses Grace. Uh, my main skill is Smite. I have the normal melee stuff, Ancestral War Chief, and have my Vol skill, Leap Slam, and my Harbinger. I'm running uh, Perception, Aspect of the Cat, Purity of Elements, Wrath, and Grace. Uh, Perception's only at level one. Uh, Wrath is given to, or Wrath has no reservation because of All's Uprising, and Aspect of the Cat has no. No reservation because of uh, Frill's Burr. I don't know why it keeps going between translucent and not translucent. Like, I, I'm watching it work with, I think as soon as I go to Cat Stealth, I become translucent. But that kind of confuses me because I'm always phasing since I'm a raider. always phasing, so I should actually be always translucent like this. Uh, why they did... Why it doesn't do that, I have no idea. Maybe they wanted to get rid of visual clutter or something by not having your character be transparent all the time just because you have the passive? Who knows. Uh, so I only have uh, three ascensions right now. I haven't gotten to the fourth yet. That's still in the plans. This is kind of what the tree is looking like right now. I paid 10 div for a very expensive Watcher's Eye. Plus 8% chance to evade, plus 40% chance to chaos resistance, and 51% increased lightning damage. It's basically perfect for me. Everything's pretty pretty well rolled. I wanted to make sure that the grace was, was like the max rolled specifically. And this actually does give me some chaos res. Why I'm at 20%, not negative 60. I do have some plans on where else this character is going to go eventually, but it's it's getting there. It works by stacking frenzy charges, as you would imagine for basically any raider. I'm using a twin paradoxica, uh, lightning damage and attack speed, lightning damage and, and critical strike chance options. Uh, they were both three div apiece. Uh, another div for the All's Uprising. Uh, I got a Ceaseless Feast for only a div that gives a max uh, Frenzy Charge, which brings me up to nine Frenzy Charges total. And my Ferules Fur brings me up to maximum fr Frenzy and Power Charges, even without the fact that I just gain those naturally. Actually, I don't know if I gain... Power charges naturally, but I gain frenzy charges naturally. 
they tend to, to stay a bit better when I'm refreshing their duration. So usually I'll be at full. It's only re the only reason why it ever turns off is because I'm in my hideout. Rest of my gear is just fairly basic. Picked up decent resistance stuff. Picked up a decent ring. Put aspect of the cat on it. Uh, one for dark ray vectors because this gives me a plus to maximum frenzy charges, and it also gives me forty-five percent movement speed from the well, frenzy charges. Uh, ceaseless feast. I haven't really tried out too much yet. Uh, it's very, as far as I know, it's pretty new. Uh, it inflicts corrosion on enemies when you hit them. And what corrosion does is it has, I believe it's minus 4,000 to armor and minus 1,000 to evasion per stack of corrosion. And I don't believe corrosion really caps, and I attack very fast. Uh, and then there's the gain endurance charges when hitting an enemy with no armor, and gain frenzy charges on hitting an enemy with no evasion rating. And the corrosion makes it so that they have no armor evasion rating. Means I also get endurance charges. This character is not at its peak, but it's already very, very tanky. I've, I have the normal levels of resistances, but I have 84% chance to dodge spells so far, and it's going to be going up like another 10. Uh, oh, it's flickering back and forth. Uh, a dodge spell dodge 64%, 22% physical damage reduction. I ha I am immune to ignite, chill, freeze, shock, sap, scorch, and brittle. I have some stun avoidance, which will be going up, and my movement speed. Well, it'll be it goes up a lot. Let's put it that way. That's interesting. I think so. Get lots of mana and life on hit. That stuff's always good. My critical strike chance is. I believe, so it says uh, 54 and 90, but I believe it's somewhere like 75% on average, so it's pretty good. But we are going to do some heists, because we're still leveling this character, and keep working on that. I'm going to be making a uh, cluster drill for her specifically soon, with the uh, Axe and Sword Mastery here going to be going for uh there's a few different things actually you know what let's make this much easier make this much easier excellent Okay, so here's Path of Building here. Uh, currently, I only have it destined for level 91. I don't have any other skill points set up past that point. Uh, I do have a uh, two passive cluster duel. Well, technically it's three passive, but I don't really know what I'm going to pick for the last thing. Because currently there's other things better than it on my... But I've p I'm picking up Blood Scent to give me Rage, so... For just so that everyone is aware, rage increase per every per one rage you get one attack one percent attack damage. Every two rage you get attack speed, and for every five rage you get moons. And that will allow me to use the berserk gem because that eat rage. Also, I'm going to be getting devastator, which basically gives a chance for enemies to explode when they die. And that will kill things around them, just because that sounds really fucking fun. <laughs> and this character is only only for heisting. I don't intend to map with this character really. I'll, pro I'll probably try it, but this character does not have a huge amount of DPS. I'm sitting at 1.7 million right now. Uh, that's that's 1.7 million reliable. Uh, if I actually add my various flasks. Well, I have my Diamond Flask, which brings it up to 2 million. I have my Ancestral War Chief, which brings it up to 2.6. And I have my Berserk, which brings it all the way up to 
It actually has a fair bit of damage now, wow. Realize how much it spiked. I also have a Quicksilver and a J. I believe. What I'm actually doing? Yeah, Quicksilver, Jade, and Diamond. I'm going to eventually have a Critical Strike Chance, Evasion Rating, and Attack Speed. I already have... I just need to... My uh, Quicksilver Flask. Otherwise, I am just leveling things. Got myself an Awakened Added Damage Support. Increased Crit Strike Damage. Ow, oh, this... Quality on it. Quality on it. I do, my life. Lightning penetration, volatility, apply increased damage, multi strike, and all smite, which isn't. <laughs> I st I don't know the tags of all smite because they're so they're off screen even for me. Like there's no way to view it because there's so much description to this. But the long and the short of smite is when you hit things. It targets other things with lightning strike. With Vol with Volsmite, you hit things and it strikes thirty things. But yeah, that's that's basically what it is. Without further ado, let me show you this character. I've been I'm so happy to be showing her off because she is. So fucking fun. And I'll I'll be posting the uh, path of building for her. Actually, in case y'all want to just look at it. You're creating link. Okay. Nice spin. Copy. I'm going to post this into chat. If anyone wants to uh, go, uh, if anyone wants to open up the build and look at it themselves, that is the URL. You'll also be able to see it in the uh, stream VOD, but I will try to remember to put it into the description. Okay, heist. I've yet to do a grand heist with her because she's still quite young, and or I say young, she's quite low level still, so I'm holding off on that. But I I'm getting ready, I'm getting ready for that. Let's see what my lowest grand heist is. Seventy eight. Let's start with this. I've been running a whole ton with Gianna. Uh, because... Look at this. I have 28 reveals on Wakano and 13 on Gianna right now. That's how much I've put into this. I want to add more... Uh... I'll probably get my money's worth of this one. Yeah, I've been... Wait. Have... Div cards aren't shown yet. Okay, div cards and tape route. I'll do that right after. Okay, let me show you show off how I do heist. Character. And hopefully the bitrate will survive this, because I am really quick. And the bitrate does not tend to like when you have like a stupid quick character, or there's a lot of things happening on the stream.
And we're already here. Admittedly, that wasn't, like, a very good run, so you didn't actually get to see its speed, but... And I'm going to be stopping to kill things, because I am still trying to level up, and apparently Heist is actually decent leveling. Who knew? Well, people who weren't me. And... Fall... Light? <laughs> oh, that wasn't a good one. I'll find more people. Something nasty there. Oh, my Ancestral War Chief seem to be quite happy, too. Oh, I guess Ancestral War Chief with Paradoxica is pretty good. I didn't consider that. <laughs> oh, I didn't open this uh, room up here earlier. Oh, well. I don't actually care about the rewards when it comes to three generally, because generally bad, but... I do want to open all the rooms because then there's more stuff coming out and more stuff that's hacking the area. As you can see, I have a very, very high attack speed. Okay. And now that we've gotten back to the start, we're going to head back to the end again. Just to make use of the uh, respawn mechanics of the heist so that I can get more XP. And then we'll run this again. Not very many good things spawn. Oh, here we go. There's a nice pack. Not really seeing a whole lot of monster spawnings. It's a very... Ah, there we go. There's some. This is a very monster light map. From... Or iced contract. Okay, now let's actually try that. Arst, Vendiri, and... Ibs for unlock, Arst for dirt level, and Vendiri leveling. Generally, it's Arst, Vendiri, and then someone else. Either Tibs to open more chests, uh... Talina to reduce alert level, Nanette to reduce alert level, or if I have to, Isla to uh, decrease the amount of time, or increase the amount of time between when you open the last chest and when it's locked down. That looks fun. It's level 78, so this might be a bit rough on me, but we'll see. I haven't really tested the upper limits of this character. I've been Playing it real safe and focusing on leveling. Let's see how well level 78 stuff does. So that would be... Have... Uh, have six chests, but... Or divinations, those are the most... And I guess I'll open the blight after. Lock the chest, please. Then at the at the end of the stream, since we're getting div cards now, and I have been saving div cards up, we will be doing a uh, div a big div card trade. -in. I'm generally in, I, I feel, I'm going to try to make a div card turn in part of uh, the end of every stream, is the idea. 
I save things that uh, I get over time, and uh, then y'all can see what happens when I actually turn in the cards that aren't necessarily usually valuable, but can be if I get lucky. Because I certainly want any really good luck to be on camera. Ooh, eight stack. Oh, that's 14 stack decks from this. Honey. I don't remember how many a div is. I think a div is 63 stack decks. This. What's this sculpture to reveal? Oh, I don't have a trinket slot in this character yet. Right, okay. Delirium Orb, so it'll be about 40 Chaos there. That's way less. Less. Patience is Chaos. Talismans. Okay, yeah. This will be the most viable. What type of XP I can get from this? Level 4, nice. Need some more level five. And boom. <laughs> oh, I love, I love Vol Smite so much. So good. And boom. <laughs> That's so satisfying. <laughs> Things are grouped together, it's very easy to get lots of stuff. Oh, they sat up outside the room. Nice. Marks P. I don't like this. Why are these things so resistant? Don't know why that was so resistant, but as soon as I moved, they became weaker, so. <laughs> I won't be going back and forth uh, to get more XP for this, because it's a grand heist and I want to make sure I actually get the money and stuff back. I, I have a lot of money worth of stuff right now on me. Oh, lots of stuff I was leveling up now. Eh. Out. Twenty two stack decks from that one area. I think it's sixty three. 61 to a day. So that was a third of a day. But 80 chaos plus the Imperial Delirium Orbs, which are about 10 a piece, plus another 40. What half a div? There, if I want to roll that for later. Wait, because I don't care. Back in. Who's my Harbinger? As long as he just disappears. Oh. Oh, right, because I only unveiled two. Okay. Something unique dropped somewhere. Very valuable if it didn't show, though. Okay. So I have light. Oh, I have two divinations. These, oh, these take almost no alert. Ah, oh, it's oil.
all of those dirt totems. I'm going to be getting a lot faster on this character soon as well, because uh, I'm not really well acquainted with her yet, so I still need to find what what the ideal feel is for her. Until that point, I'm going to be using... I'm not going to be using her abilities very well, because I'm getting to know her as what I should use when. Like, I feel like I could definitely use this a lot more. Ooh, that's a beefy person. Stack decks. I try to sell the stack decks by the div. I find that's the most efficient way to do Ow. This is not even worth it. About a single rusted skip. That was not worth it. I don't usually open Abyss or Ju Armor. They're all usually pretty bad. Okay, augmentations. Oh, four percent chance to receive to receive additional div cards. Eight percent chance for augs to be elks. Oh, I thought this was chaos. Never mind. Uh, alterations as elks. Augments as chaos. Using chaos. I think I think this is I'll equip that one. And I would be better to have like a divination one where it's like, ah, uh, chaos orbs can drop as divination orbs, but those are a little bit expensive. I don't really know how valuable they actually are. I don't know how often that type of thing. It's like it says it's a one or two or three percent, but I don't know how much that actually. I don't know in experience how much that would be. It's based on how many times. It's based on how many times you have the option for those things to drop. As well, so like I don't really count how many chaos I get. Like how many chaos I pick up, and I don't really know for sure how how often the conversion would happen. the portal still up? What am I missing? <gasps> oh my gosh! I was on autopilot and I didn't even realize. Uh, so I've been in trying... To... Okay, I'm going to go back to the Rogue's Harbor so I can explain. I have been crafting a bunch of shit for, the... for my heist rogues a lot. Vendiri has the best stuff of all of it. I have a 5% chance not to activate Lockdown in Grand Heists. I also have Karst, who has a 5% chance not to activate Lockdown in Grand Heists. And I think the last one was Talina, who does not have anything yet. But still, like... I finally got enough of those that they're starting to have an effect. And that's what happened, is, is it gave me the option to pick something else now from the uh, area there. So I guess I'll go back and grab the six chaos. 
feel a bit silly for like leaving that behind, but it also explains why there's like nothing here. I was like, huh, wow, it's really quiet right now. Like, why aren't aren't things mobbing me? Well, that's because it's not over yet. Cast orb. Okay, so it did actually complete that time. <laughs> I wonder how many times that can trigger. Like, if that can trigger multiple times in the same thing. Like, is it possible, theoretically, for you to pick up all five rewards? Or what? Because that is kind of cool. But ideally, I'm going to eventually have uh, gear that gives 5%. Either somewhere between either 4 or 5% chance to uh, not activate the heist to every single rogue I have. And these are like... These are over a div, the 5% the, uh, the chance ones. Like, they're very expensive. But they're actually a lot easier to roll just using alterations and augmentations than you might think. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking, Pyro. Like, I don't see why it couldn't trigger that many times. It, like, the only reason it wouldn't is if they have some sort of intentional setup to prevent that. Which wouldn't surprise me, because that is, would be kind of broken if you can just pick up every single option. But the chances are also pretty low, because you're going to get a maximum of three rogues into a particular heist. So, like, ultimately... You aren't actually going to be able to... You're only going to have a 15% chance if you have, like... Three or four div worth of gear between your your characters. <laughs> a lot to spend on just your rope. You opened an operative's chest three times in a row before? Oh, because of uh, the strongbox mastery. Okay, what am I picking? I'm playing. I'm trying to remember what I'm. Yeah. Do I have the spell suppression? Yeah, the spell suppression mastery. Maybe sunday stunned if you haven't been hit recently. I don't have that one. That'll decrease my stun chains now. Thing is, I have very, very high evasion right now. And it is the lowest it's ever going to be, too. Like, it's going to go up. Because, uh... So, path of building here. My evasion chance is supposed to be a 93% chance melee for all attacks whatsoever. So, she's going to be very hard to hit. Plus another 64% spell dodge, 30% block... And even if it does get through, I have life leech, I have, and I have uh, physical damage reduction and to good. I focus on making this character really tanky first, more than anything else, because I feel like that's the most important thing for a heister is to make sure that they aren't going to lose all the good stuff in their inventory. Because for those who don't heist very often, I'll just want you to know. If you die in a heist, everything drops on the floor from that heist. It's all marked as contraband until, until you get out, so you will just lose everything you picked up. I take... It. One every 25... Okay, so I need to take... 15% reduced uh, lightning resistance. Why is my... Oh, my, my stuff is low because I'm in town, so my purity of balance isn't effective. Okay, so yeah, I can do that. 
The man is fine. Hi, hon. Dying in heist is one of the worst. Especially if you've had a good heist where you opened a whole bunch of shit, then, uh... You drop, like, 30 stack decks on the ground and you just feel a bit dead inside. Ooh, four div cards. Oh yeah, hardcore sucks. I've I've played hardcore once maybe. I I don't I don't play hardcore. I don't really I mean, I could go into a whole long rant about it, but my my thoughts on hardcore just to simplify them are this game is not built for hardcore. The game is not stable enough and it's not forgiving enough on uh, death. Um, or, like, transfer death for it to actually. Because you just. This, the game servers just aren't that stable. God, this is awful. Okay, I need Niles badly. I need Tibbs. Take Huck just to keep me buffed, because this will be tier 12. Okay, so here's what's probably going to happen. I'm going to be picking up the first div card room. Then the other t then the other one here. I probably won't have enough for enough alert level to pick up these. So I'll head over to the curio room, grab the curio, head back up. Uh, Niles, both of these chests, head down, Tibbs, both of these chests, and then run out to escape road. And then this one's for Wait, did I not turn there? Enjoying all these extra reveals I have now. Uh, put things away in my that's worry because I'm kind of worried at the moment. I need as much space in my inventory as possible. That is an interesting issue. I'm just getting some pop-ups from OBS. I need to turn down my graphics a bit, I think. It's not happy. I'm already at pretty low graphics right now. Darn. Not actually sure how to make I might need to change some settings. Okay. This is going to be kind of shitty, unfortunately. Yeah, you can... Uh, yeah, you, you can start the... Uh, you can start the countdown. And then rush over and get the curios before you run out of time. But... I don't really like I don't like stressing myself like that. <laughs> I 
I've missed enough curios because of that to not want to take money. There was no point opening that door. Lynn, all yours. I might be able to fit all to fit three rooms instead of two my alert level. There's a weird way to phrase that, but I'm sure y'all understand what I mean. Oh, this is the boring one. Oh, there's only one. Or there's only two rooms. Okay. Fusings, fusing. Better. Better items. Smuggler's Cache is a 5% chance to duplicate contained rogue. Rogue's Marker. That is the only situation, the uh, the duplicate rogue's markers on smuggler caches, that the thieves' trinkets help you outside of uh, heisting. So if you want to make a little bit of extra money, and you don't usually heist, but you still do open the smuggler's caches, you can actually get yourself a trinket that uh, will benefit you. Also, I'll grab the ancient orb. Now it's going to be the big one. Okay. Iron lockpick. Any more level 5 stuff? I don't really like crafting with more stuff because if I'm going to spend like 80 chaos worth of alterations on something to craft something, I want to make sure that I have. I want to make sure that it's something that it's going to be the ideal that I'm going to use. Right, maps. What's looking? Might be able to get more than I thought. Even despite not having too much alert level stuff. Ooh, I got all my uh all my cards got doubled there. Nice. Okay, so I a okay, new plan. I can open all the dip card chests. I will grab the uh I'll grab the map chests on the way back. With uh, Tibbs or not. Or do clo uh, level 4 stuff. I must need to be like level 80 or higher to get stuff. To get the level 5 stuff. Oh, I can't get the last one. Without starting the... Yeah, that thing. That though. Yeah, I probably will use what you were saying earlier, Pyro. Because if you're careful what you're doing, figure out exactly which thing you want before start the... Okay, I want the stack decks. So I'm going to hit this.
Now I can hit the stack decks. Okay, and no double loop. You know, for 3200 health, this character is like surprisingly direct. I expected this low level of health to be a, like a, a huge danger, but I guess with just so much evasion, it doesn't matter. Oh, that would have been perfect for volume. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so I can open four chests. I think there's two rooms I didn't touch. I think. The worst comes the worst, I don't open every single chest. That's fine. I don't care too. I got the uh, divination card ones, which are the most valuable, so I don't really care too much after that point. Here we go. Oh, Niles can only unlock one chest right now. I must. There must be a skill he doesn't have fully leveled up yet. I'll have to work on. That. And that's what I was afraid of happening. Ah, uh, shit! 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 It. Stop attacking me. Okay, you know I'm gonna put uh, the evol the wall evol war chief totem will be out there. Go try it, him. I go away. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Eh. Oh my gosh. So many things. I definitely do not need to kill everything, but I am anyways. God damn it. Lots of div cards for us. That. And 14 stack decks. Wow. Oh, it's such good money. I love it. I mean, I've heard that there are better options too, but... I don't care. I just... Interesting. Something dark. Fully revealed max tier blooper. Like it starts at about 10 chaos a card. Might actually be worth it. I'll put it aside. Good ventures. Increase two percent increase quantity. All the Okay, we're about an hour in. I'm going to take a five minute intermission and then we'll be back to do more heisting. Here be everyone.
And we're back! Hello, Gal. Just reminder that if you're liking the stream, you can always follow so that you can see more of our content. And let's get back into it. I'm just going to maps naturally. Oh, thank you. Oh, the, okay. So this character isn't like a bossing character, but I kind of want to see what happens when I grow up against the uh, ice bosses with her, actually. There's the boxed well some. I think I don't have one of those right now. I want to see how she fares against the various uh, various bosses. Because she, this again, is not a bossing character. But haste, so why not? This is a level 81 area, so tier 14. Actually feels like there's a bit of some decent mob density here. Oh, is it because the alarm's already started? Okay. Oh yeah, I can actually just open all these chests for free now. Right about that. Since this is a boss area. Ooh. Big boom! Oh, yeah. big boom! <laughs> oh god, you're big. You're a big boy. The fact that I'm in danger from... The small fry does not give me a huge amount of hope for the actual boss, but we'll we'll see. Character's still growing, so you might not be ready yet. Thank you, Audio. Single stack deck, that's a bit. Underwhelming. 87. Nice. Two levels since I started the stream. Okay, so audio's gonna... Audio. Uh, Nashta's gonna be a bit over... North, so I should have a moment something. What do I need next in this build? I think I need to grab that so I can start working towards getting my cluster to Wow, she's tall. Oh, hello. I wish I'd actually gotten... Ah! <laughs> I wish I'd actually gotten my Berserk gem already. That would be nice. Let me pick up more loot so that I can carry it over to the boss to just leave it at her feet. <laughs> Adia, please, open the chest. Thank you. That maddening incubator? Oh, delirium one.
starting to get a lot of stuff happening here. Feeling like this is nearing the edge of my capability at level 81. No, I don't really want to fight the giant dog, actually. Keep moving. Okay, it's doing the rounds out. Bigger area, not in the corridor. So, probably avoid it now, at least. I can't make a portal, right? No. I need to make sure that I keep moving because she's really dangerous. It's a good thing that, like, I am a medium range character, so I actually do have something where I can be slightly out of melee range. Oh, uh, I don't like whatever that was. Do I have Culling Strike yet? Yes, I do! Yes. Cool. Nash does not a very hard boss either, so it does kind of show that this character is definitely not a bossing character. <laughs> Fledgling, projectile damage, projectile speed, bar shot. Earth. About five chaos. Okay, well, that'll go back in my thing to look at later. Oh, get her. Ooh, 3,000 markers. That is 20 chaos. Pretty good. Wait. Why am I still... No, I don't want to be here. I don't know why they didn't close when the boss died, but... Yeah. Going for the unbreakable next, because I know the unbreakable is... Rather breakable. In my experiences. <laughs> okay, I need to remember that I can just open as much stuff as I want because there's no alert level because the alarm's already gone off. Which is how it usually is for boss levels. Usually for boss levels and some story levels, you can just pick up as much stuff as you want. And... Valsmite. Really awkward having Valsmite on my... You... Or on my one having it on when I clicks. Fortunately, I might be able to put False Might on my left click, which will mean that I'll just use it kind of at random sometimes, but... Yeah, it wouldn't be too bad, I don't think. I'm gonna step back for a second, grab uh, more Vol Souls, so that I can... Big boom? Okay, fine. Wipe them out normally. There we go. I'm gonna open the door. Okay. 
Oh, that one was a bit tankier with uh, shock resistance. Worked. Oh, what's the name of the Herald of Thumb? Can't remember. That's the one I got. Storm Secret. I got a Storm Secret. Ow. What that was. I think that was one of the uniques with the Halberd. Yeah, the 80s, areas in the 80s are starting to get a, they're starting to show as a bit bad for me. I don't really have what I need yet. Once I have the uh, Berserk and my gem, I probably will be better able to handle it, because I, I can just start Berserking when I have to deal with the boss. But for now, it's a bit rough still. Ow. Ow. I don't care about the amulet. Yeah. Give me loot, give me loot, give me loot. Why is there an alert level now? The, the thing's already triggered. The alarm's already gone off. What there before? Maybe the alert level's always been there. I feel like it wasn't. Am I forgetful, or... Did that just pop up when I, like, came back in the second time? The alert level bar. Oh my gosh! Okay, it's that one that killed me the first time. Saw the halberd there. I was like, no! Not the halberd! <laughs> Anything but the halberd? Okay, I'm just forgetful then. It wasn't there in the last map, which is the confusing part. Oh, safe. Okay, time to break the unbreakable. This is what I meant when he see I said it seems start startlingly breakable, the unbreakable. Ow. Okay, well. I'm also startlingly breakable. I do like how fast I move. Ugh. I know I've been saying that like this entire stream, but I just am so enamored with her. She's such uh oh, she's such a fun character to play. Ah oh fuck. Nope. I did not enjoy that. Fine, we'll zoom again. Okay. okay, there's a problem with Leap Slam, where you can Leap Slam into things, because I can't move. I Leap Slammed into some barrels yesterday. I don't know why it's only Leap Slam. Like, I've ne I don't ever encounter it with Flame Dash or Dash. But Leap Slam, I have gotten stuck in a number of doorways and stuff before.
Probably level 4, right? Yeah, that's not level 4. Okay. Try this again! Ow! You bitch! This has suddenly started to go very badly. Okay, here's- this is how fast I actually am. Fuck you. Yeah. One of the prodigious events or something. What I just picked up. One. No, this is the Nadir code, I think. A prodigious defense is a notable. Nadir code? Nadir mode. Okay. are not very valuable. Five chaos for a world one. Perfect one is also five chaos. Okay, yeah, that's not really... And now it's bricked. <laughs> um. Secret of... Okay. Let's try. Oh, definitely, definitely Huck. So we're going to go for the Slaver King now. I like the Slaver King fight, I admit. Probably the most of all. It's probably on par with the uh, Vox Twins fight for me. Which I also like. I like the Vox Twins fight because of how the fight feels. The Slaver King, I like for one specific reason and one only. It's that the concept of a slaver is awful, and it is satisfying to kill him. Be like, well, you're awful, so fuck you. I would not usually open these chests, but they're free. So... Feathering Vossel. And a Gilded Vossel. Oh, that stun from Huck is really nice. I wonder if I should look into, like, adding more stun chains to this character, because that might actually be a really good man. Wow. Good chess. Or stack decks from just a basic chest. That's nice. I'm thankful I don't have to face much chaos damage as a heist character. I do not have much chaos resistance. I was thinking that because I saw the uh, the exploding the exploding balls that follow you that are chaos da make chaos damage fields. You're gonna fucking die now. 
Oh, I don't like that. I don't know what you're calling in, but it's just giving me more things to kill! No! No! Fuck you, you piece of shit. Oh, Chains of Emancipation. Okay, th I'm gonna note something that's really stupid about this. So, with Nashta, the uh, the portal spawns at the edge of the boss room, like, near the entrance. With Unbreakable, it spawns, like, right beside the boss. With Slaver King, you do not get a portal whatsoever. You just have to walk your way back. For whatever reason. Like, it's... I wouldn't... It's not that I mind walking back necessarily. It's just that it's, like bizarrely inconsistent between things that were all released at the exact same time. XP. Whoa! Lots of things. It's you. You're the invulnerability woman. Yeah! Got a bunch of gem level ups. Okay, last boss I have is Admiral Darna. His fight is pretty cool looking with the fact that I believe he throws a ship at you at some point. <laughs> oh, not you. He's decent chains. Well, it's almost a perfect Chaos Rose roll. Games of Emancipation are really, really valuable because the uh, when you lose temper when you lose temporal chains, you gain maximum rage. You're immune to curses while you have at least twenty five rage. Enemies inflict temper temporal chains on you. Uh, so the most important part of that is when you lose temporal chains, you gain maximum rage, and there is a there is a ring where you can put a curse in, and it will apply that curse to you. And if you put that curse, which is applying to you, on your left click, uh, because it applies it as an aura, it will turn it on and off automatically, like like every second or two. And that will just like flood you with rage, which you can use with a uh, hate forge to use o a p to make a character that's purely vol skills. So it's like a very important item. A lot of people. Which is why that's so important to to brick it like I just did. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh well. A good corruption on it though is definitely worth it. And since hate This is the place we just left. Since uh, Hate Forge is uh, only works for attack skills, if you get something like an example, if you get something like Determination Aura Effect or Increase Life, like that's really good because. They're not going to have energy shield with the, it its current implicit, generally. So, yeah. 
Also, this is a level 82 area, so a tier 15. This is going to be kind of iffy. Kind of a little bit iffy. And since that we are in the lab laboratory, important to remember to walk near all the walls because they spawn large amounts of rats, like that, for example. And they give good XP. Or at least I believe they do. Large number of things to kill for XP. They're all very low health, so. Right, I can just open things. I don't have to just walk by all the chests. I keep forgetting that. I'm like in normal heist mode where I never touch any of the chests. Because I usually... Not never, but like I generally don't touch the small chests. Oh, a heist boss! Perfect. Eh! Or tanky. Ooh, currency. Currency chest and junk chest. I'll open the junk chest too. Have something. Nope. I don't know if there's anything that the jewelry chest can drop that's actually valuable, I'll be honest. I can't think of a single thing they could drop. I feel like they might make them drop, like, armor scraps or something just to in the loot table, but otherwise it's pretty terrible. Okay, so 87, halfway through. Hopefully, I'll continue to level up. Race and determined effect. Maybe it's worth something. I don't know. Probably not. I'll have to price it later. But it's probably just going to crash. Right, I can open chests. Open chests. Open chests. Open chests. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Free shit on the ground I can just pick up. I love the range of all sites. So good. I definitely need to pick up a Rage Gem, or a Berserk Gem, as soon as I get my cluster. That would be really nice right about now. Help me get through some of the tankier stuff. Nope. Stay away with your big explodey shield. Nope. Good. Mice, 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 mice. I should do some higher level stuff with with Huck specifically, since he gives some pretty good buffs, and he also increases XP.
Get him, Totem. Get him. Uh oh. Oh, cannonball. I think. Oh God. Okay, his his spells are really cool. Ow. He also hits really hard. I guess to be fair, if something actually does hit me, it's not like I have very much to defend myself with. <laughs> More chests, so when I die, I leave an even bigger bounty with him. Oh well, the benefit is I don't think there's anything that's stopping me from just doing the fight over and over and over to like succeed. Because I can just keep coming back in. I think the only risk is if I die after I fight him. No, no, it still stays open anyways. Oh. I'll shut up. Ever. But let's just go. I can be really fast if I want to be, so let's just use that my advantage. Be really fast. On! Yes! But his car. Okay, so Darna, Admiral Darna has a portal in his room. Flavor King's the only one who doesn't have a portal in his room so far. <laughs> or doesn't have a portal at all. Elemental damage you deal with hits is resisted by the lowest elemental resistance since... Well, in the stash it goes. Let's let's do another unbreakable. No, I'm I'm good. Okay, huck, 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 huck. Right, V. That's what I set it to. Okay, so lock picking, brute force, demolition, and engineering. I need to pick one of those. Hopefully I can get some good XP. Because I'll be fine if I'm just not fighting a boss, I'm thinking. They're brute force. Start with. I'm going to go for some really high level one. That's a brute force 5. Actually, that he can't. Gonna do some tier 16. How well I can do. Only do a maximum of tier. Not above that. Oh, also, I can just get 9,000 rogues from the bosses. Are now yeah, it's about 150 in bulk. Yeah, D divine is 28,000. So this is a third of a divine, basically. The uh, doing the uh, the quests for the heist characters is actually worth it, even if you don't do heist normally, it's still worth it, because the rogues markers they give are very much saleable, large amount. So let's see how much XP I can get from this. Oh right, Huck has zealotry. Of course he has zealotry, because 
I use him for mapping. That's why he is zealotry. Okay. Like shit. Maybe I need to swap that. Just so I can use the character better. Kind of an unfortunate irony that my that the way I use my heist characters is getting in the way of me doing heist. This stuff. Get more things spawning and running around. This one up. Okay, sword. Sword. Give everything a second to uh, populate in the area. Let all them and set up all their defenses behind the doors. Good XP. Hopefully. Just have to be careful because this is pretty high level. Wow. My Ancestral War Chief is actually doing well. I really need to get some more uh, Omens of Bequeath because. I, uh, they give, I mean, when do, uh, hmm. okay. Because when you die, it will give all your XP to all your gems, and when you're leveling, you do have a lot of XP. Your gems need a lot of XP. It would benefit me to have that, but I'm not going to pause what I'm doing to do that, though. It is getting real rough now that I'm doing 215 stuff. Do everything I can to get as much XP as possible if I can level up. I need more skill points. I could pay for an XP service, but I have been enjoying doing it. Also, XP services are in high demand and low supply this so. Actually, getting XP service is pretty hard. My experience. I'm as well open these chests. Why not? Wait, did I actually drop something? Drop. Drums, that's why. So I'm not going to wait for things to build up because I am not that strong. Be careful going through doorways specifically. Because they tend to set a lot of things on doorways to make them like super dangerous to go through. Okay, Huck is really, really useful here. I mean, he's giving, he gives bonus experience. 
he gives a really good buff, and when he when he hits everything like he does, he stuns everything, which is great. You know what? I'm I'm gonna leave before something bad happens to me. <laughs> don't don't like this. Okay, another point towards the large jewel socket. I think this one's a priceless one, too. Maybe like three or four thousand markers completing this. Hack him. Huck. Huck. Okay, Huck is stuck. Stuck Huck. Okay, over here. No, oh, it's still it's still bugged. Huck, get over here. Okay. Huck. No. Stop doing that and come over here. Right now. Huck. Can I just not do this heist? There we go. He was too close before, and I think it was confusing his AI. Oh, it's a big archer guy. Arab, nice. I gotta make sure that when he bashes in, that I rush in with him. If, like, there's a bunch of things there, because I want to be able to hit my uh, Vol Smite before everything catches up and unstuns. Whoa! That thing actually hit me. Oh, I don't like this. Something here is really strong. I think it's this thing. Okay. Cool. Duster War Chief has done it again. Saved my butt. I really appreciate that the Vol Smite can actually, like, if you're slightly around a corner, you can hit something and it will chain to things, be like, on the other side of the door. It's only if the door is open, but, you know. That's about to level. Ability. I want. Give myself a little bit of extra damage since I'm. But. What? 
Let's try this. 21, 21, 21, 21. Fuck! Here's my quality. 21? Nope. Whatever. I'll have to replace this thing. Oh well. Wrath? Nope, level 9. Vision, that's fine. Mark on hit. Back to mark, I do that. I want actually I should be fine. That same actually wait, I don't want power charge on hit. Alright, I have enough power charge gain, I'm fine with it. Oh uh, nineteen. Sucks. Thought I can re-level as well. Race, I do. I okay. No, I want to level twenty one. Grace eventually. I can get it. Not getting many good rolls. That's for sure. I'm gonna maximize my damage where I can. Okay. This is level 79. Look at this. Oh, this is level 78 as well. There are four. It's in. They're usually kind of meh, I find. As far as money goes, but. I did not properly check what that was. And. Is this worth money? Not really. Okay, I'll do both these as is then. Okay, vulnerability, less energy shield recovery. Deal power, frenzy, endurance charge. No, I don't want to give them every single charge I have. That would be incredibly dangerous. I can do both those. Deal <laughs> Mobs that can steal charges are the worst against these types of builds. So, need a even do. First, alert reduction and Talina. Reduction. Alert reduction. First. Up it over. Exception. Arse. Theory. Yes. Nile. Fortunately, you can't get reveals from doing Grant Ice. So. No, it doesn't really have much of a point being in there for Grand Ice. I'm at low, I'm at twenty five percent XP. Curious how much this contract's gonna get or this Ice is good. Vendiri's been talking this entire time, and I only just noticed that he's been talking. Oh, but he's been talking about people not listening to him. <laughs> That's super ironic. Probably intended. 
to be ironic. That's why I stopped, because I was just like, uh huh. That's a funny little thing. I don't think I've ever heard him complain about that before. Not actually any point in me opening these. I don't know why I'm bothering to. At best, I get a fracture, a fractured thing that happens to be worth something, but there's still a pretty low chance of actually getting a good fracture, so... Eh, I don't really bother. But as the synthesized modifiers are good. Those can be very clearly worth things, even without you having to unveil, or unveil, uh, identify them. else? Okay. Chaos. Nation cards. Chrome's is feeding quantity. Duplicate contained basic currency. Alterations is chaos. That's really good. Yeah, none of that's worth anything. I think I'm actually going to use this one now. Which means I need to be very careful to not die. I am going the wrong way. Oh. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Danger. Almost walked into that hallway full of mines too soon. Almost. That could have been a real problem. Hey, that wing gave me 11%. Fifteen percent chance for alterations to drop is chaos orbs. That's pretty good. And chance to duplicate basic currency. Those are both really good modifiers. Out of curiosity, this modifier work. It's the uh look at this. So the ice the alteration as chaos is worth thirty chaos. Or a 15. 14 is worth a bit less. Duplicate basic currencies. Oh, it's 80. That's really nice. How good is this? Oh, that's just a tier 1. And the other one's a max rolled tier 1. I got two tier 1s. The two important ones are tier 1s. That's awesome. I assume neither, like, these two together don't exist. Yeah. These two things do not exist together on the market. So I think I'm actually pretty lucky there. And I can run up now. Since I've left that wing, the uh, stuff is no longer contraband, so it won't drop on my death. Those who are unfamiliar with Heist. So, I can run around here safely. Well, safely in brackets. Not brackets, quotations.
Okay, so there's some metamorph stuff in here. Wait, I should make sure that there's not like a huge amount of other things. Literally just this and and a weapons chest, which Turbulence and intrinsic. Oh, I walk past the weapons. Oh well. Not gonna lose much money by ignoring that. So it's not a big deal. Nine stack X. It dropped Rogue Marcus and Quant. Oh how I don't know how much Quant is. Because Quant is usually pretty valuable. That's a tier one almost max world. That might be worth some money. I could roll the dice on it. That's another max roll. Percent to duplicate rogues mark. Seven percent to duplicate talismans. This would be a better. Duplicate rogues markers is tier one and it's maxed. Quant is one point from maxed and gems the two. Let's see. Gonna open trade sign and gonna add the of items dropped in highs. Dropped highs. Nine percent goes for five chaos. <laughs> Damn it. Wait, what? Oh, I'm not looking at trinkets. That's my mistake. Okay. Trinket. Try this again. Okay, so if it was a 10, I got a 10% increase qual quantity, it would be good. But... Yeah, it's, that, that's not worth it. Okay. Stack decks. Stack decks are a very safe way of making money. Well, I mean, if if you're selling the stack decks, if you're opening them, they're not a very safe way of making money. <laughs> I might op open some stack decks on stream at some point. I could probably rustle up like a hundred stack decks pretty easily that I can just farm myself. Y'all. If anyone actually is interested in seeing me just open a ton of stack decks. I usually don't open them just because I can guarantee money by selling them. And it's better to guarantee money where you can. Oh wait, I can drop a Buster Totem and that will take care of it. Mask. And we're done. Okay, I got 25% XP for that thing. Lots of stack decks. Oh, 153 stack decks. That's nice. I only started the stream with like 50. <laughs> Okay. Level 79 next. Tier 12, effectively. 
only one div room, and that's it, so I can ignore the rest. This would be one higher, one level higher than the last grand heist. Fourteen stack decks. I got actually I got a double on the uh, currency there. I don't know if that's from Vendiria or from my trinkets or their their charms. Because I have basically all my rogues' charms now are rolled to either give you a chance to duplicate basic currency or a chance to duplicate uh, div cards or both. Okay, six chaos orbs, six fall orbs, fusings, five chaos orbs, seven gem cutters. Six chaos, please. I assume not, but I wonder if those, uh, if you get uh, uh, a particular type of item to drop from the uh, the grand uh, the grand heist cases. If those are subject to the uh, modifiers and the trinkets, because if I let's say got a uh, ace that had like 40 orbs of alteration in it, is there a possibility that my uh, orbs of alteration to chaos would trigger on some of those? Like that's what I'm kind of wondering. Because that would be really awesome, and potentially kind of broken, so that might not be a thing. <laughs> Going the wrong way. Yeah, I was going the wrong way. What? How do I have Rampage? I have Rampage. Why do I have Rampage? I don't, didn't think I had anything that gave me Rampage. Oh, 150. Am I getting Rampage effects or not? I can't tell. And I should have gotten a Rampage effect by now. If I was going to, so I probably don't. Nope. No, you don't. 250? 250? 250? Come on, give me something. Give me something to check. 250! Okay, no, I didn't get anything to happen. That's really weird that I have so I, a Rampage that's not actually... There's no Rampage bonus with it. Because uh, 250, it should have triggered a spell. There, There's different... Uh, uh, there's different thresholds for triggering uh, different effects for Rampage. Rumble's almost restarting in 25 minutes. Eh. I guess the stream is going to end in 25 minutes. Have until the realm restarts. Put that in there. Okay, what do we still have time for? I don't want to open another print just in case. Uh, I believe... Does Huck have trapped us on? We can probably eke out another level. No, lockpicking, brute force, demolition, and... Okay, priceless contracts. What do we have? Ability lockpicking. We can do that. And... Lockpicking. Sure. Perfect. Do those two, and then we'll open our div cards. And call it a day. I'm at 75% now. Might be able to hit 89 before we end the stream. Maybe. I 
Let me know. Uh, oh, there's a currency room. Uh, yeah, I know, Hawk. I'm trying. These things are tanky. <gasps> Three awakened sextants. Yes. Six chaos apiece. Mm, nope. Don't like. Don't like. I always accidentally hit N for waypoint. Always pops up. I need to move that key, but it stops. I stopped doing that accidentally because that's the last thing I need in combat is my waypoint thing stay popping up. At least if I pop up my map, my map is semi-translucent. Actually, what's the difference between translucent and transparent? I don't know the difference. Transparency can be the levels of which you can see through something. But translucence? Ow. Oh, my sextons. Oh! I didn't start the, uh, I didn't trigger the alarm yet, so I can go back. Yes. Okay, good. Unfortunately, that probably is the end of me trying to get to 88 or 89 for the end of this, by, by the end of the stream. I just lost 10% of my XP. Won't be hard to recover that, though. I just let my very angry ancestor totems do. I can pick up my stuff. I'm still eighty percent. So I recouped enough that I'm five percent ahead of where I was. That's not so bad. I don't know if I want to stay and pick things up, actually. Right. A. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling the lack of DPS right now. Still, still need some work before this character will be fully ready doing tier 16 uh, on tracks regularly. I mean, I am doing them now, but like, e like more easily. Take a moment. Put my totem over there. Focus on the totem. And then rush through. Another totem out there. They can Fight my totems while I stay back here. This oh, this is a bad doorway. Don't like this at all. Urgh. There's a lot of damage going through this one doorway. Okay. Buy you some time, Huck. I need you to buy me time. Oh, this is getting really, really tight now. I'm going to step back a little bit to so get some Volsoul. Okay, I have Volsouls. Dump my Ancestor Totem down. Track them. And then Volsmite. Get through. 
We got some of them, but not all of them. Oh god, there's even more there. I haven't woken those ones up, I don't think. Oh, I have. Okay, I'm fucked. <laughs> no! Don't like this, don't like this, don't like this, don't like this. This is a bit much. Yeah, that boss might really helped. What? I can just go. Oh! Ooh, I almost lost at the exit! Yes! 89! <laughs> I was being cocky and was like, must get my level before I leave. Oh... Cool, I can socket my cluster when I get it now. That's 20 minutes. I think there's a little bit less than 20 minutes left. I'm good to do another con. Just need to stay with Huck. Well, I don't really want to map with this character, I should probably do one or two maps just to get the, uh, um, just to get my, I wish I had a, a memory and a brain that worked, uh, to, to get the gods for my divinity thingy, I need to, Kill a bunch of things and encapsulate them. Because that stuff still matters in uh in Heistland, so no. Babes. Chaos Orb. Chaos Orb. I wonder if any of those were alternate. Those were just no Chaos Orbs. No! Man, those things are tanky. Don't like the look of that. Yeah! Oh, I love Vol Smite. Really, really good. The temptation to, like... If I ever get the money for a Hate Forge again, then the temptation to uh, make this into a Vol Smite build is definitely high. But I don't think that would be as good for Heist if it was Vol Smite. Because, like, Volsmite's good, but you need to use it a bit more often, I think. If, uh... Like, I feel like you need a more reliable attacking skill if you're going to be nice. I don't know. Hard to say. Don't need help, Puck. Oh. There's literally someone with a crossbow just, like, slowly aiming it at his head and shooting him. <laughs> like, I need help! No, you don't. You just need to, like... I don't know, just, like, nudge the guy over. Fifteen minutes. And I push it and do one more locker contract that are in my heist locker. That's what I'm trying to Bracelet. Counter thumb. Lock picking. Force three. I can do that. One more.
I understand why he does it, but I really hate the fact that Huck says sir to everything. Been sirred enough in my life. Be nice if he at least paid attention to the gender pre gender presentation of the character I'm playing. At least if I was playing a male character, it's it's not as bad. I feel like. It doesn't bother me as much. It's like oh, he's talking to my character. It doesn't feel like it's me. I completely forgot to turn the music back on. Uh, just quick sound check. Uh, m my voice versus the sound, the music. These are these sound levels okay? That was a good stun. Okay, thank you, Pyro. I've had enough issues with, like, either y'all uh, not being able to hear me or one thing being too loud that, or over another that I'm kind of paranoid now. Whenever I change the sound setup, I just, I feel like I have to ask. Okay, let's take all of this stuff, all of these heist things. Wow, sixteen points, sixteen point eight k rose marker. That have forty one point six up to fifty point eight. That's pretty nice. Okay, we have ten minutes left. It's div card time. I'm not going to open the div cards so that we already know what the answer is going to be. Okay, let's see if we get anything fun. Agnarod's Death, Agnarod West, Rustic Sash, Out of Prison Wave, okay, not worth anything. Primordial, got a prim Primordial Eminence, which is worth about 20 Chaos. That is not the expensive one, but that's okay. Line Eye Item, Line Eye's Vision, okay, not the good one. Axe, Red Arc, Item. Ondar's Clasp. Oh, those are the leveling gloves. Gem. Pretty Fire. Currency. Give me five mirrors. Five alts. Okay. Dodra Item. Dodra is damning. Nope. Not worth anything. Into the lore weave it goes. 
And, ooh, we got to find Delirium Orb. Yeah, this is worth about 13 casts. A little bit more, about 50% more expensive than the normal Delirium Orbs. Okay. Nothing too crazy there, but that's fine. We can't have crazy stuff every time. Oh, I just noticed this max rolled attack and cast speed for golems. Ooh, actually, no, this was a really, really good roll. That's worth, like, 90 chaos or more. I put up for 95. I think that that's a perfect one. Okay, do I have any more Agnarods? Ooh, okay. So, for those, for anyone who doesn't know how to make a Vinktar square map, they're special. You take an Agnarod east, north, south, and west, one of each, and put them in a uh, merchant cell tab, and you get a, a Vinktar square out of it. This is significant, because Vinktar square is actually worth a notable amount of money. Yep, they start about 30 chaos apiece. Because they can, they drop the um, uh, there's a lightning damage flask. I think it's just vessel of Inktar, and it's pretty. It can be pretty good. So that's another cool thing. I'd run it if we had more time, but we definitely do not have more time. <laughs> okay, we have between five and ten minutes left. Is there anything we can run fast? Oh, we can run a Poor Joy Asylum fast. Wait, no, Poor Joy is the... No, Poor Joy is the big one. I was thinking uh, Putrid Cloister. Oh, we could do a Maelstrom of Chaos. They generally don't drop anything, but they can, and it's really easy, so I know that this character will be able to handle it. It's also kind of biggish, so it's good for running around in. Ooh. It seems my encoder's overloading. That's not good. Gonna have to change some of my video settings. Again. Sad. Are you playing Path of X on pretty low graphics now? Because I'm the recording. It really does not like recording, streaming, and playing at the same time. This is actually a really good map for this character because it's such a so AoE focused. The character, not the map. Oh, wow. She just obliterated Mervile. Uh, what? Wow, this character is more, more powerful than I thought. Huh. I mean, this is, is only a tier 5, but still thought that it would be a little bit more challenging than that. I heard some pretty good div cards can drop from this place. One of the, hence one of the reasons to actually do it. This is a fast character, so... It's a useful uh, way to do it. Wouldn't want to do it on my other character. My other character is, like... My other character is pretty fast. Like, it, it's 
Not pr Other characters are decent speed, and I'm quite happy with that. But this character is specially meant to be a fast character, so fills a different niche. Partner chart, the guild stash. By the way, if anyone doesn't have a guild and wants one, you are welcome to uh, join my guild. Uh, the only real benefits is I just throw random leveling stuff into uh, into the uh, guild stash, just in case other people want it. Um, but besides that, it's always an option. Okay. Wow, we did... We have 167 stack decks. That's ridiculous. We really made bank this time. We're on the verge of having three div worth of stack decks now. It is really awesome. So we also got a fair bit of chaos orbs, too, and just, like, general stuff. Pretty, ha pretty happy with this. And this, this is a really... I would not be surprised if this was, like, a 1 to 3 div trinket. So, pretty happy with that. So, while y'all will be gone, like, between streams, I'm going to work on leveling this, and I'm going to try to get my gem for the socket so that I'll have rage, access to rage, I'll get my berserk gem, and then... Actually, that's as far as I've gotten so far. <laughs> Okay. Thank you all for who've been there. There. <laughs> Thank you all who've been watching today. I appreciate it. For everyone who's here and has been here. Thank you so much. It means the world to me that y'all spend time listening to me say silly things. Uh, I have. Uh, let's see what's coming out. Uh. For those who are familiar, who are here for the last stream, you've probably already seen this. But I have... I get the... URL. Here we go. A uh, video just came out of me fighting the Maven for the first time. If you missed it last stream, I killed the Maven for the very first time. Never fought her before. Uh, I did not expect to kill her. I don't feel like it was... I feel like it wasn't so much skill as just, like, blindly falling ass backwards into success. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, we're being counted down. Thank you all for coming today. I appreciate it. And have a great day. See you in two days, same time, same place. No problem. Thanks for coming. Oh my gosh, okay. For those who are still here, because I see I still have four four viewers. Hi. Something just came out while the stream was happening, and I just saw that, and I cannot, I cannot ignore this. At all. The November 
2023 events were just announced for Path of Exile. I'm going to I'm going to do a news video on this, but I am super excited for these. We have on November 3rd Crangled Passives, November 10th Blast from the Past, and November 17th Shifting Stones. Those all sound very interesting. Okay. Crangled Passives. Passive skill tree and all ascendancy trees are jumbled. That sounds really cool. Minor passive skills, notables, keystones, minor ascendancy skills, and major ascendancy skills have all been internally scrambled within those categories. So a notable passive, still a notable passive, but a random one. All characters have the same trees. The sign is not available for the event. That's really cool. That could actually make some really awesome... Uh, Really awesome stuff. Plus, you get the chance at uh, getting some cool gear, so that's awesome. We have Blast from the Past coming up as well. Oh my gosh! Sentinels! We're getting the Sentinel and the Lake of Calandra uh, mechanics back for a week. You lose five times experience on death? What? Oh my god, you lose five times experience on death in all of these. The penalty for death is already bad. Holy shit. That's really painful. Still, that does sound pretty fun trying this, and I probably want to try to get the uh, different uh, portal frames and various things too. So I'm probably going to go, I'm going to go for Blast from the Past as well. And Shifting Stones. Do you ever want to be possessed by ten tormented spirits in the mud flats? What? Each area you encounter one of the following league mechanics, which is enhanced by a corresponding Atlas Keystone. Tormented Spirit, Speaker of the Dead, Cassius Pry. Okay, hold on a second. Let me look up what these keystones actually do so I can explain it. Unless they have an explanation somewhere. No. Okay. Let me look up what these actually are. That is interesting. So, Speaker of the Dead. Tormented spirits in your map can possess players for 20 seconds. Tormented spirits in your maps cannot possess monsters. Spirits can apply Tormented Spirits Touch modifier to up to 15 nearby normal and magic monsters per, per Tormented Spirit possessing the player. In contact with a Tormented Spirit grants a buff, 35% increased damage, 35% increased attack speed, 35% increased cast speed, and 35% increased movement speed. The buff stacks based on the number of Tormented Spirits. Oh my gosh. This basically means that you can have what is effectively a headhunter stacking on you, but it's tormented spirits just for free and in, in in anywhere. You get Cassius Pride as well for blight. Blight monsters in your blight monsters take seventy five percent less damage. Uh, blight towers and minions in your maps deal three hundred percent more damage. Okay, so that's basically, you don't have to be powerful, you just need to make the right towers. That's cool, because that's very strategy-based. Uh, timeless Conflict for Legion. Legion encounters have no timer, breaking out monsters and chests that are in stasis progressively causes a schism. Legion encounters in your maps begin once the schism has occurred. So, basically, you have as much time as you want to break out creatures from a timeless monolith. That's actually really good. Because if this is appearing in the story, then this is going to be really... It's going to be really slow breaking through things, so this is actually really useful. Uh, Unending Nightmare for Delirium, which I'm already really... Familiar with, which basically just means your delirium does not go away. Uh, you can't pick up delirious orbs, 
but you do still get cluster jewels. So as long as you're in that area, the delirium just is ever persistent. And then finally, we have Endless Tide from Beyond. Beyond portals cannot spawn unique bosses. Beyond portals have 50% less merging range. Um, what does that mean? Basically, there will be less instances of Beyond creatures popping out, but there will be more of them popping out than they do. Okay, cool. And all those effects are going to be in multiplayer. Um, that's not what I'm trying to say. Let's try it again. All those effects are going to be in the story mode, the campaign. That's really cool. I think... I think shifting stones is the most interesting thing of the three different ability or three different uh, challenges just on on their own. Uh, I'm not as excited for Blast from the Past just because I didn't really especially like League of Lake of Calandra, nor did its Sentinels were cool but kind of iffy. Uh, Krangled passives I might be extremely interested in, or I'll be extremely disinterested in because the passives it's going to give are going to be... I mean, either I'll get very excited and build craft something, or this will be a complete dud and I won't have anything that I want to make. So, we will see what happens. I'm hoping that there'll be, like, a few nodes together that are, like, really broken specifically together. So, that'll be fun. It's worth noting that the first two events aren't vo are not void league, so they transfer to standard. The uh, the one with the all the different crazy effects from the uh, keystone passives from the atlas tree that one is voided. So your items and characters from the event specifically will be deleted at the end of the event. You also notably cannot change your ascendance. You can change your ascendancy? Oh, that's new. You weren't able to change your ascendancy before because people were using it to, like, cheat to get multiple rewards and stuff. Okay. So I guess I'll go through the FAQs. Will these events run on all platforms? Yes. Are there hardcore versions of these events? No. Well, thank gosh, because they're crazy enough. Can I play my existing character? No, you cannot. You need to create new characters for all of these specific events. I'll, it'll be as if they're starting a new league. Uh, you just create a new character uh, in uh, the character selections is how you join the event when it starts. Uh, like When you're choosing things like Ancestor League, you'll also be able to choose the events instead. Can you make private league versions of these events? No. You can change your sensei class. If you delete your character, will you still get a prize? No. Do not delete your characters. Let the let the machine the system delete your character when it's time, because it will give you the rewards based on what it is deleting. If you have a if you level multiple characters, will you have a greater chance of winning a prize? Yes, every character that you level will be independently included in the pool for the prize draw at the end of the event. This includes mystery boxes, which you'll only be able to receive two per account. So the mystery boxes are just... Let me find the actual... Nation. Uh, ain't it. You'll be able to win two guaranteed Ancestor mystery boxes per account for reaching 50 in any of the two events. So, if nothing else... You all should ha should heavily consider at least reaching level fifty in in, in each of, like one of or sorry in two of the three events because I mean it will get you a uh, microtransaction box so I think it's worth it. Uh, can you win more than one microtransaction prize? Yes, you absolutely can. You can win a whole bunch of them actually if you do all the events and like level to level ninety. You have 
you're in a bunch of different draws. Basically, the higher level you get, the, the more numbers of draws that you're going to be entered in. When will I receive a prize? The answer mystery box will be rewarded automatically. The other microtransactions and hideout statues will be rewarded after the end of the event. You will receive a private message on the site to notify you that it has happened. So in my experiences, this takes a little bit of time for you to actually be awarded the stuff. So the to actually be it takes a little bit of time for you to actually be awarded the prizes. So after the event finishes, don't expect it to pop up immediately. It'll be a moment. You will still be able to access trial of the answers in the Krangled event, but not in any of the others. I guess that kind of makes sense since they'll be focusing heavily on league mechanics in uh, the second and third event. So I guess it makes sense that you can't use the, the main league mechanic from this league. What happens if I already have all the microtransactions? You'll instead be rewarded to Ap Ap Apollyon? Mystery boxes per ancestor box earned. Reach 50 in two events, you'll receive four. Okay, I don't know what that means. Besides, you can get more shit. Uh, are the randomly drawn microtransaction pools shared across platforms? They are shared across platforms. Cool. So honestly, really excited. Mostly for shifting stones, because that sounds like a really crazy, kind of fun thing to deal with. Uh, Krangle Passives, I think, has the potential to be really cool, depending on how the passive tree ends up being jumbled. And Blast from the Past is the one I'm least interested in. Okay, so I just wanted to go over these various things before I ended the stream fully. Uh, but that's uh, those are the events that are coming up, and I definitely will be streaming each of them. So that uh, y'all get the chance to see what they're like, even if you don't play the events yourself. Because, let's be honest, you, if you've leveled a character, or a few characters in the main league, you might not want to level a character again. I understand that. So, you'll be able to watch me do it. And there's a good chance I might use my faster character as well for this, because she is pretty good. At that, <laughs> uh, I had to be a bit careful because I don't know for sure uh, how well we'll actually be able to get the items that we need. Uh, I don't think she needs anything. Oh, she needs Paradoxicas, which makes her pretty special. But I don't know if that's actually going to work, but I'll probably create a, uh, I might create a special character for it then. We'll see. We'll see. There's lots, lots of time to plan and work. Okay, so now, uh, now I'm going to end things for real. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.